an operation to drop the French flag over the Arc de Triomphe Operation Squabble. To boost French morale, British intelligence planned an audacious mission to drop the French flag in German-occupied Paris. It is a warm Sunday afternoon in Paris. A Royal Air Force aircraft swept across the horizon to everyone's astonishment. The RAF aircraft dropped a parcel over the most iconic monument of France as the crowd cheered. The package was a French tricolor, and it was German-occupied France in 1942. The Fall of France After the rise of Nazism, Adolf Hitler and the Nazi party were able to take over the German government in 1933. With heavy military spending Germany was prepared for another war to avenge the loss of World War I. Germany's aggression led to the annexation of Austria, Poland, and Czech. Britain and France declared war on Germany but took a defensive position. When Germany attacked Belgium, the French government realized it was next in line. Britain and France mustered a combined force to tackle the German offensive. The combined force could not stop the German Blitzkrieg, which, with German panzer tanks, split the Allied forces into two segments and resulted in British troops' encirclement in Dunkirk. The British troops luckily escaped from capitulation thanks to the ego war between Wehrmacht, German Army, and Luftwaffe, German Air Force, commanders. After the annexation of France, the British military significantly reduced its operations in Europe. The Special Operations Executive Winston S. Churchill, the Prime Minister of Britain, came up with the plan to establish a division for covert operations. The objective would be to create a highly trained force of agents that could cause enormous damage through sabotage and terrorism. It was later called the Ungentlemanly Warfare. The unit was named the Special Operations Executive or so. The SO recruited French citizens who escaped from France and trained them in combat, detonation, radio operation, etc. After the training, the British Royal Air Force dropped the SO agents into France, where they organized undercover operations with the help of the French resistance. Nor Iniat Khan and Nancy Wake are some of the notable SO agents who worked with the French resistance. The French resistance also helped with the escape of oppressed minorities, escaped prisoners of war, and downed airmen from occupied France. The most famous escape route was via the Pyrenees to neutral Spain and then Portugal. The SO supplied the French resistance with the much-needed materials, while French resistance supplied the SO with valuable intelligence. Operation Squabble The intelligence provided by French resistance was a crucial factor in making the D-Day landing successful. One source of intelligence was the regular parade by the German army by the Arc de Triomphe in Paris. The SOE's leaders wanted to showcase their solidarity for the French resistance by acting upon the intelligence. The SOE's leadership convinced the Royal Air Force's fighter command to send a bow fighter with a surprise gift for the French public. Fight Lieutenant Gatwood piloted the RAF aircraft, and the wingman was Sergeant Gilbert George Fern. The flight off from Thorny Island on 12 June 1942, despite a heavy fog. The mission was named Operation Squabble. The aircraft flew low and avoided the German radars. It entered Paris and flew over the Eiffel Tower and surprised the onlooking Germans. A flock of crows hit the plane, but luckily the aircraft survived the impact. Anti-aircraft guns opened up on the Lone Bow fighter as it turned towards the Arc de Triomphe. To the surprise of Gatwood, there was no German army parade that day. The pilot dropped the surprise gift, French tricolor flag, over the Arc de Triomphe as the French people cheered. The plane flew through down the boulevard to its next target the Ministry of Marine near Place de la Concorde, just around the corner. Pilot Gatwood fired a volley of bullets at the building and dropped another French tricolor flag. The bow fighter made it back to Britain. Pilot Gatwood found a dead crow stuck in the wing of the aircraft. The crow received a proper burial and probably was the only living thing from an Axis country buried in Britain. The flag drop was a massive embarrassment to the Nazis. 
The German commanders were surprised by the fact that a lone RAF aircraft traveled deep into France and attacked them. FLT Lieutenant Gatwood received a distinguished flying cross for the mission. The incident boosted the French public's morale by showing ordinary people that the Germans were not invincible.